It's getting easier and easier to produce multimedia content for teaching and learning. Many faculty are experimenting with producing videos or screencasts or pencasts or using mobile devices and the applications that you can get for these to produce media content for students as a way to disseminate parts of the material for their courses. But many of us, and I include myself in this, still like the idea of working at a board to build up ideas, concepts with an explanation that really shows how we think within our disciplines. But if you spend time working at a board with students, invariably you're facing away from them for most of the time that you're writing on the board. Or if you're using mobile applications, you're this disembodied voice over the top of your slides, or else you're a small head floating at the bottom of the, of the screen. This is an alternative approach to producing multimedia content for teaching and learning purposes. This is a light board. It was developed during the summer of 2014 as a collaborative project undertaken by two students, Toby Volkman and Mallory McMahon, collaborating between CTLT and UBCIT. The design is based on an open source hardware specification from a mechanical engineering professor at Northwestern University. This short video gives you some insight into how you can use Lightboard and what sorts of things you can use it for. So after you finish recording your video with the Lightboard, you can either use it as is or you can export it in a format that you can use with post-production packages such as Camtasia from TechSmith. And that's actually the package that we used to add the links into this presentation that you've seen throughout. After that, you can think about distributing it to students using a video hosting service such as YouTube or Kaltura or any other mechanism to distribute it to them. If you want to find out more about Lightboard and why they might be so important for education, it's just been the subject of an EDUCORS publication as part of their Seven Things You Should Know series. So you can find out more information there. And if you're interested in using it in your own teaching context, then please do get in touch, book an appointment, and come down and experiment with the board for yourself.